So, I'm on my third day as using FreeBSD as my daily driver. I thought it would be a good time to update you guys on how I've been getting on so far. If you haven't seen the first episode of this challenge, I suggest you pause the video and go and watch it now. All in all, I'm having a great time using this as my daily driver, though there has been some quirks and issues that I didn't quite expect going into it. But overall, I haven't found myself pining for a different operating system. I've been what I would consider lucky in that most of the hardware I use hasn't been a massive headache to set up and use on FreeBSD, even down to my microphone, which going into this wasn't something I really thought about. My camera, however, not so much. I tried to get a face cam present for this video but completely failed. I even attempted to get my weird capture card working to run a camera through that as a last ditch attempt. No such luck. And as I've installed this on my main desktop which houses my capture card I couldn't do what I would usually do and capture the footage from a second computer. This isn't a deal breaker though and is an issue specific to my hardware. I haven't noticed any significant decreases in performance for what I would usually expect from this hardware configuration. Navigating both desktop environments has been snappy and responsive and I haven't suffered any game breaking freezes or crashes. Yet. Editing and exporting videos in Caden Live is comparable to what I'd expect from a Linux distribution though without having a side by side comparison of an export on the same hardware I can't be exact. The only application so far that's been a bit hit and miss has been OBS. I had it working perfectly, then after a reboot at some point it started behaving strangely and now it's failing to record videos. Again, I'm sure it's something specific to my hardware or just how I've set it up, but it's something I'll need to take a look at. For now, I'll be using Simple Screen Recorder. I also installed VirtualBox today using the packages, which I'll test tomorrow, and if all is as expected, I'll use it to host an operating system for an upcoming First Impressions video on the channel. This will be good as I utilize it a lot. I was pleasantly surprised to see that Telegram was also easily installable from the packages, and as that's what I use across all of my devices, I couldn't be happier with that. As you can see, I'm also now using the Arc theme, which is my personal favourite that really ties the desktop together. So, the bad, and there's been a few things. From what I can tell, there isn't a desktop app for Discord, which is something I use quite regularly. I spoke too soon in the moving in episode of this challenge when I mentioned Netflix. Due to a lack of support for DRM, services like Netflix and Spotify aren't currently available on FreeBSD. Which is kind of crazy when you consider it's FreeBSD that Netflix uses to service all videos. So if that's a deal breaker for you, I would wait until the support is there. And I've mentioned this in episode 1, but I reiterate, the lack of easily playable games is an issue for me. Although I've been linked to a kind of luxurious alternative that is being worked on, so maybe it's worth taking a look at that. That's it for this episode of the challenge. I'll be throwing in more tasks in the final days, so stay tuned for episode 3 which will be the final instalment of this channel. It will be longer than episodes 1 and 2 and include my closing thoughts of this challenge, and free BSD as a whole. Thank you for joining me in this challenge, make sure you subscribe and I will see you on the next one.